This talk that Natalie just gave on adaptability is significant to the idea that as a leader, you have to be able to adapt to a situation. You have to be able to be transformed by situations, environments, change, uh, see ahead of the current circumstances, to see ahead of where you are technologically, innovatively. And it's not so much to see ahead to know your profitability, your, your scalability, but it's more to see the transformation of your most important clientele. How is your clientele changing? How is your clientele adapting? And many big organizations recognize that change is upon us. Change is is forever consistent within organizations, and we can agree that change is the only thing consistent within organizations. But how do you know that you're making the right decisions uh, to change and in change? Because you can think you're making innovative changes, but it's not relevant, and to the point where maybe there will be some stagnancy or something that just doesn't work in the marketplace, which is also very possible. But as a leader, you have to be able to change and evolve and to work with situations and to change in your mindset, most and foremost, change with new ideas. Use the ability that your ideas should not be fixed that you should be consistently evolving and changing because of all that you are experiencing. If you are not continuously engaged in reflective practice that challenges your day-to-day behaviors, then you will struggle as a leader. You will continue to have a hard time as a leader. So the key is to find a way to measure your change, measure the changes within yourself. First, it starts with you and your mindset, and then it goes beyond you and outside of you by looking at the conditions, the market conditions, listening to ideas and new ideas, and being open to possibilities. And in these possibilities, and of course, some people start talking about risk risk. Is it risky? Is it risky? There is always risk in everything that you do, but as a leader, you have to make a decision. Now, there isn't one decision that's better than another in the sense that if you make a decision and it doesn't go the way you planned it to go, it goes a different direction, doesn't mean that there isn't some learning that wouldn't occur. There will be learning. There will be an opportunity to uh, grow and transform because of it. I remember being in a business that challenges everything about you as a leader. And part of adaptability is also to remember that self-care is also very important. That it's not only to adapt to the conditions, because the conditions will always change. There will always be change. There will be new players and there will be Uh, different uh, circumstances and different things will encourage and foster change but the key is that you also take care of yourself that you are conditioning yourself to be in a mindset that fosters adaptability for you to not only go into new environments and see what's available but part of that recognition is that you have to be able to be calm, cool, and collected within your own self, within your own thoughts, within your own uh, happiness scale. All those things matter. Your own uh, emotional health as well matters. And there are levels to what an organization needs. An organization may need at a particular time um, an emotionally uh, available leader versus one who is more 
uh, strategic and structured and more fixed. And so as a leader, you have to be able to think about the future, think about the changes that are to come. And then because of those changes, you have to be ready to receive those changes. And a lot of being ready means that you have to transform in your mind, in your heart, in your sight. And part of that is in taking care of yourself. Let's continue.